हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विथ न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप ऐप नेम इज एन के विजन ऐप सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू वॉट इज एन के विजन ऐप वॉट आर इट फीचर एंड फंक्शन देन विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू इंस्टॉल एंड डाउनलोड ऑन डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल ऑर योर मोबाइल फोन and after that will tell you that how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end and please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one so basically nk vision app is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your mobile phone it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet by using the, this app the main purpose of this app by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera not only the live view but also able to access all its feature like you see the multiple channel at a time you control the ptz camera you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc and many more so for installation and downloading you should open a app store and search for nk vision when you do this you find that uh, nk vision is top of the list and you should click on this cloud option in my phone it is like cloud option because i already installed it and if you are installing first time you should find the option get so both are same you should click on that Once you click on that, it will take a few seconds to completely download and install on your mobile phone. Just wait for the few minute, few second. After when it is completely installed and on your mobile phone, you should find option open like this. Just click on open and click allow. Again, click allow and click agree. By default, it will select your region. Like in my case, it select India. Just click OK. Again, click allow. Here you should find the option login and register. I don't waste time by while registering because you can do by your own. It's very, it is very easy process. And I make a video just for a training purpose, so I will explain only those option which is necessary. So here the first thing you should do, you should click on the top right option plus like option like this. and here you find the option scan qr code manual adding online device add to favorite here device scan qr code is the first option now i will explain this option so basically if you are in front of the device and you want to scan the qr code then you should do by this you should do that by here from here basically you should log in your device and go to the network option and go to the platform access option when you go to platform access option you should find the option over there a qr code is there which you scan and if someone send you there's that qr code you should select your gallery like this okay so now the second option is manual adding when you click on this you find the two option here i nk vision domain and ip do, ip domain basically if you if you i have a static ip or if you want to connect with your local ip address then you should click ip domain and here you should enter anything like uh, device name it ask for a device name you should put anything which you usually remember and it for address you should uh, you should enter a local ip address and here username and password so basically you you know to insert a username password of the device device mean dvr nvr whatever you are adding okay and if you select nk vision domain then it asks for a serial number please note that the serial number is the serial, is the number which you find on the sticker of your when you turn your uh, dvr and vr you find a sticker of model number and, and a serial number you should enter that serial number if you don't have a sticker or your sticker is rough and you don't want to it you don't want to see it then you should do by login the device and go to the system option over there you should find a serial number 
and if you are and if you uh, you find the serial number from the mobile device also i will tell you that how so and the third option is online device so when you click on the online device here you should find the online device like this okay and i tell you a few second earlier that how you should find a serial number here is a serial number okay ds but this is not the serial number you should enter you should enter the serial number from the last character for example here it is double c double r c and after that you start eight character double five zero okay hope you understand so here you you find that add device to view in lan and add device to nk vision server so you can do both the option so i i just click on add device to view in lan okay now again just click on the manual adding so you hope you find that you uh, know that how you get a serial number now you should enter a local ip address so i will explain you the more option that's why i do this so in this way your camera comes live okay so there are many ways to cam for adding i will explain every every thing uh, one by one now this is the way that how your camera comes live so apart from just beside the screen you should find the option 14916 so basically this is the view of the camera how means how you manage the view of the camera like this so basically this is the way uh, that your camera comes live now starting from the left side the first option is to stop live view like this okay and second option in hd in hd when you click on hd your camera become more clear but it take more bandwidth if you click on click on fluent then your camera become hd and it take less bandwidth and third option is search if you want to zoom then this this app comes with a digital zoom like this okay and third option is if your camera is voice enable and you want to noise reduce the noise level then you can do this by here from here okay and then if you want to take the screenshot of the live camera just click on this in this way you can take a screenshot and if you want to check the live view live if you want to record the live view of the camera then just click here your record starting start and if it's again double click it is stopped okay and if you want to hear the voice of the camera just click here and you can close from here also and my device is not a uh, two way audio communicated if you, my device is two way audio communicated supported then this option enable and if you have a ptz camera then ptz option is also enable so and if you want to search the live view of the camera if you want to search the record of the camera then you can do from here for example if i want to check the record of the camera just select date from here and here you should find a blue color this mean that recording is here and for example i want to check a record of 1600 then i will do this from here okay so in this way you can check check the record of the camera then record option is available on the right top most corner just beside the three dot button and from three dot button you should add setting like date time on all and you can you can change if you want to change the camera information you can change from uh, device information you can change from here uh, now i will tell you that uh, how you make your device means dvr and vr online so that you can access from anywhere okay so for this you should click on this manual adding 
and click on Ankyvision domain. When you do that, you ask for a serial number, and from where you get the serial number. So serial number is the number that which you find on your box on your and the sticker stick on your device means when you turn turn around your device you find a sticker where serial number is mentioned and if you are not able to find it then you can do by your by this app also but for that your device and your mobile device both are connected to same network means same router and then you should click on online device and search for there here you should find a serial number so uh, you find uh, the it is not the serial number it um, yeah there's a part of that it's a serial number so starting from c and later on the eight digit number it's a, a last c and the eight, eight digit number is a serial number which i noted down and after that again just go to the manual adding and click for nk vision domain and enter that serial number This is our serial number just click save when you click save it asks for to register so please log in it it asks me to register it so again what you do you just click on the registered and click agree and again click here you should enter your mobile number and here you should enter your password and click return and click get security code and here it asks for Now you get the security code. Now click finish. Now click login. And after that click again save. Please when you enter the serial number it asks me to enter the high security code which I insert at the platform access. So just enter that code. Basically that code you can find when you click on the platform access and over there you find a, a stream encryption. You should enter that from here from there. You can find the verification code in your device web setting configure network advanced setting platform access. Okay. It is clearly written. Now click add. Click OK and click. Now here you should rename your device like test device and click save so in this way your camera comes live and all the option is remain same that i will tell earlier in this video thanks for watching